everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in the episode we are making waffles, salad dough waffles. Since school year begins, waffles, pancake is something that I absolutely have to have in my freezer. And every morning just stick in your toast and kids are so happy. And these the waffles, I think, and I cook waffles for many years since we moved to South. <laughs> I think the best. My husband ate so many at once, I was scared. And usually he eats like half. <laughs> it's so delicious. And so good for you since we are using sourdough starter. So it's fermented, well fermented. So it's not quick process. But in order to make quick and easy, I do overnight and leave in the refrigerator for eight hours. And in the morning, just finish up and, and May you cook them. So uh, we need simple ingredients: sourdough star uh, starter, which is stuff the dish, and look how bubbly, nice, active, and ripe, ready to go. It's very spongy, which is mean it's um, it's ready to do the job. When it's um, become slightly more liquid, it's mean overdue or over overripe. And for more information about sourdough starter. I will link below in description how to find on my website how to make from scratch if you don't have anyone to share with your salad dough start in uh, really any information or any question if you have please leave in comment and I will try to answer you since it's um, a lot <laughs> it's wild yeast and it's kind of like a pack in my refrigerator so you need to know how to take care and as ingredients it's also uh, due to fermentation, uh, it's fermented milk, kefir, and I make myself as well. You can buy kefir. Um, in worst case of scenario, you use buttermilk, but I hardly recommend to make yourself. It's much easier and better for you. And again, on my website, I have information a lot about kefir, why uh, we need to make <laughs> and how to make. It's easy, uh, really easy. I always have in my refrigerator. And the third ingredient is just plain, organic, unbleached, all-purpose flour. That's it. And for the sponge, we need starter. Two cups of kefir. And three cups of flour. Make sure level exact. The consistency almost like pancake butter. It's nice, thick. <laughs> Cover with plastic wrap and let sit for eight hours. You can leave in refrigerator or room temperature. Depends how warm your house. And eight hours later, the sponge is nice and puffy and spongy, has some bubbles, ready to do the work. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It smells nice. And for the rest of ingredients, very simple. What we need, eggs, honey, apple or orange juice, or really any juice <laughs> it can work, milk, melted butter, soda and we are going to activate with apple cider vinegar any vinegar lemon juice any acid just to activate and celtic salt um, for the flour i prefer use whole wheat but it's up to you whole wheat and i grind my flour uh, every every time i use so it's super fresh doesn't have any preservatives and that's about it salt and let's do it it's all together eggs Oh, how beautiful egg yolk. <laughs> My chickens ate well last week. <laughs> Juice. Milk. Bottom. Honey. Salt. A 
and to activate so they just add two ingredients together. <laughs> recipe just like from pancake or muffins you don't want over mix just just enough to incorporate all ingredients and we stop and see those lovely bubbles and ready to cook them a generously grease with butter I never use any non-stick um, whatever is in spray I don't like it I always use bottom or coconut bottom. I hardly can wait to try. <laughs> they smell so good. Oh my goodness. Oh. And I like to eat uh, my waffles or pancakes with honey. My husband prefers maple syrup, but I love honey. Of butter or um, cream fresh, that's what I like. Oh my goodness, it's so soft and spongy <laughs> and slightly crisp outside and soft inside. Mm. Yummy and tea so good <laughs> i hope you enjoy my video and as always for full recipe in description below similar recipes like buckwheat pancake crepes or other recipe i will link as well and please give me a like and subscribe and for my next video we're going to make lentil soup hope you will try this recipe soon and bye, see you next time.